The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Thanks for joining us on The Local Show. You found it on 570 WSYR 106.9 FM. Maybe you decided to go over to YouTube and you looked up uh, Zoe Advertising because that's who the show is brought to you by. We actually work at Zoe Advertising, which was uh, Steve I know Roberts, I do. Brain Trust. <laughs> I know I do. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> hey, it, it, believe me, you, it's the staff against you, uh, uh, the, just so you know. But here's the deal. <laughs> I want staff that says, that questions me, and they do every day. Yeah. And, and I don't I don't mind that. Yeah, and, and you do. You do it. You still do it. Like, I know you don't want to hear this, and he knows I want to hear this, but... Right. That was really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and well, I was like, tell me more. Every, every once in a while, um, you say something. The you coherent? Just, you just say something. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. So no, your point, folks, I think, was, yes. if you've got a, a business and yes. you want some help, let's talk. I right. think that's what you're yeah, saying. And, because and, and we'll figure out a plan. Um, you know, you can you can buy ads, you can do, I mean, all the, there's so many options to market. Let's have a conversation and we can help you get where you're going. And right. uh, um, we'd love to do that. So yes. uh, AI can't do everything, folks. AI. <laughs> so, so, have, have so some uh, human I, beings. I'm Steve at ZoeAdvertising.com. Tom is Tom at ZoeAdvertising.com. Yes. Nice and simple. And, um, and uh, let's hear from you. You got it. Simple people with simple solutions that might make you money. Josh Deakins is with us right now. He's the co-owner of Crossroads Auction. How are you, Josh? Oh, I'm doing well. How about yourself? Very good, my friend. Uh, well, you know, it's funny. If I don't look, I, I look How away. How about that? It sounds it's, just like his dad. dad. <laughs> you sound like your dad. You know, uh, the apple doesn't fall too far. Uh, tell us your history and how you got involved with Crossroads Auction and what you guys do. Oh, I've been a big part of it about my whole life. The, uh, the business opened up when I was 10 years old and uh, never left. <laughs> and, and what is it that you do that makes you guys so special? Oh, you know, we're a family run business. Um, I think it's important that we ourselves are there all the time to put out fires and answer questions. A lot of times you walk into a business and the owners aren't standing there and looking in the eye and able to shake your hand and answer your questions. So right. I think that sets us apart from a lot of your, a lot of your businesses you walk into where you, you don't see that. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of uh, items do you auction? Uh, everything and anything. Um, on our YouTube channel, you'll see mainly new merchandise. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anything, especially around our Christmas season, you'll see toys, um, new brand new tools, uh, electric weed whackers, <laughs> lawnmowers, all you sorts have car, of cars. Classic cars. Yes, we do. And on our, our, our what we have coming up soon uh, here yeah. is July 4th. We are doing a tool and equipment auction. And then right to follow that, we're doing a benefit auction for Upstate uh, Galasano Children's Hospital. Yes. You can bring your ride in, we call it Run Your Ride. It's gonna be a really cool event. Um, you bring your ride in, it's $50 for your reserve fee. And that $50 goes to the hospital and to Operation Christmas Child, which is another organization we're a part so of. So th this is for people who wanna sell their car? Uh, or, or at, you know, run your ride. Maybe, I don't, right? maybe. So, so you know, that. you don't know what the price is going to be when it hits the auction block. So if this is a car you're absolutely in love with and you have no intentions of selling it, yeah. bring it down, donate your fifty dollars, run it across the block, see what it brings. It may surprise oh, you. Okay, gotcha. right? Yeah. When it's on the block, it hits that number. We're going to look at you. You give us the thumbs up. You know, maybe there's no number that'll make that thumb go up. Right, or maybe right. you'd be surprised at the number that makes your thumb go up. Yeah. Can you I know? bring my kids like yeah. and, and put them on the block? Maybe. Yeah. No, give him a shot. <laughs> yeah, think about it for Tom a second. Tom has the 2002 Taurus he's been looking yeah. to auction off. <laughs> it needs a little work, but no, probably no. not what you're looking for. Now, uh, Josh, you, you do uh, something else other than uh, the auction. You're, you're a singer as well, right? Yeah, I'm a country musician, Nashville yeah, recording right. artist. Very nice. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I, got a, I got a new song out called Bucket of Bourbon. You can find that on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, or wherever you guys get Bucket your music. Bucket of Bourbon. I like Bucket that. Bucket of Bourbon, yeah. yeah. So is there a band name, or is it just you, or what? Uh, it's, I got a band uh, called the Grizzly Ridge Band. Okay. Yeah, and actually, uh, July 3rd, if you want to come down and preview the auction, yeah. we will be playing in Bear Creek parking lot. Um, they have a, a little party in the parking lot they do there because sure. Brewerton has their fireworks on July 3rd. Right. So we'll be there. My band will be playing in Bear Creek. So come down. You can preview the auction Very and then nice. come over to Bear Creek, listen to the band, hang out for the fireworks and show back up on July 4th uh, for the big, big auction. That Bear day. Creek Park. Where's Bear Creek Park? Bear Creek Parking. Well, Bear Creek's a restaurant right there. 
Right, right where? Uh, it's right on Bartell Road. Okay. Um, oh. There used to be the old Burger King right there across Got from it. McDonald's. Oh, now I know where it is. Yeah. It, it looks like an old Burger King that's now a bar. I know yeah, where it is. <laughs> super nice place. Great burgers. You don't Phenomenal see the Burger King logos. That, you know, that sounds, like, that sounds like a country song. <laughs> <laughs> used to be a Burger King, now a bar. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that unfolding. Yeah, right right there in, right there in town. I know yeah. where you are. Oh, yeah. They got a great parking lot. I think they got a bunch of food trucks coming in. It's going to be a really good time. So there. you've actually recorded in Nashville. Oh, yeah. I did an EP there quite a few years ago. Yeah. And then I got signed to a label out of California called Warrant Music yep. and they sent me back last fall and uh, back down there and I cut two new singles. I That's released wonderful. one this spring and I'll be releasing another one next spring. That's so, good. You're not going to forget us when you get here. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was just going to say, is this your plan to get out of the auction business? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's pretty cool. Now, uh, since you're doing so well, why haven't you bought my speaker system yet? Uh, you know, I would... uh, well, you know what happens is, this is true of the truth. When you start moving up the ladder, yeah. you don't do your own sound anymore. Yeah, figures, right? <laughs> I got I got people for that now. Right. <laughs> well, so, ask your people if they want my sound system. I still got to get rid of this. I thing. know, it's a nice one too. So, going Going back to the July 4th auction, so next Thursday, July 4th, um, we talked about the cards. What's there? Um, like, what would people see? It sounds like a fun way to spend the day. Oh, it's an starts absolute. Starts at what, nine, I think it does? Yeah, it starts at nine. The, the general auction is going to be from nine to one, and that's going to be yeah. your building supplies, kitchen cabinets, tools, equipment, stuff like that. And then at one o'clock, we're going to start the uh, benefit auction side. Um, so far, like in our, in our building right now, we have a uh, 2021 Hellcat. Oh, or it's a red eye. <laughs> it's a red eye edition, YouTube, wide body. YouTube See, looks it's got about ten thousand miles on it. Comes with two keys. One's good for five hundred horse. The other one's good for eight hundred horse. Uh, no kidding. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, that what noise are you, you heard. Get for? Where, the, the, the noise it, you heard was jo Tom's jaw dropping on the counter here. I'm not even a Mopar guy, but I love Hellcat. Oh, yeah. I, I drove it. It's cool. Yeah. You you can tell the difference it's in that not, car. Not an automatic, is it? Is it a standard? It's an automatic. Oh, yeah. Geez. Why do people do that? Because nobody under forty can drive a standard. I love standard. Same myself. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. I want, if I was going to get a hot rod, it'd be a standard. So, uh, what's that start at? The bidding, you know. Uh, it's going to start wherever the crowd starts it. Okay. Um, you know how that's going to go. You're going to get someone who's going to be excited. I mean, that's an expensive car, yes. so I'm sure it won't get too low before th someone throws their hands in the air. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we got a lot of classics in there. Um, really? I was looking. We had a what had eight or so cars coming just yesterday. We've been lining them oh up. Oh my goodness. Now, where yeah. can I see those cars? Because I, I, I would like to look at them. You'll be able to see those cars on our Facebook page, Crossroads yeah. Auction Facebook page, and we're doing videos of those cars on our YouTube page. So you can go to Crossroads Auction YouTube channel, gotcha. and there'll be videos um, of the Hellcat, uh, we had like uh, an 80s Jeep come in. Uh, right. We have a bunch of other vehicles that <laughs> 80s are already there. Jeep, they're <laughs> awesome. That's what Jeeps oh, it's, were cool. It's really cool. Like yeah. a Wrangler, what is it? It's an old Wrangler, Oh, yeah. those are Jeeps were cool. And I used to fit them. They don't make Jeeps for tall people. Right. You know, the Wrangler you can fit in, but oh, the other ones are all like yeah. made, made for people under five foot five. I believe it's in the 80s. It might be in the early 90s, but yeah. it's in that ballpark. So where does this stuff come from at an auction? Like where, you got all these things. Where yeah. does it come from? Uh, it comes from everywhere and anywhere. So um, a lot of this stuff here is going to be come from obviously individuals coming and can sign it to be part of the, the donation, okay. the benefit. Um, but what you get a lot of times is from a state. So let's say you had a, an uncle, a parent, a brother, whoever passes away, yeah. and you're like, listen, I got all this stuff, I don't know what to do with it, I don't wanna deal with Facebook Marketplace, all these tire kickers and all these yeah, scammers right. out there, I wanna take it to a, a reputable company that can handle this for me, handle it for me well, and, and at a good time manner, and then, Put that in front of a large crowd of people that's gonna get the, the best price for the items. So crossroadsauction.net, correct? Correct. July 4th auction starts at nine. The benefit auction with the cars is at one. And yep. it sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. And the night before at the Bear with the Bear. Bear Creek. Bear Creek, yep. you can listen to you play. Absolutely. Thanks for coming and joining us. Oh, it was fun. I'll we'll do it again sometime. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Kicking off hour number two of the local show, we're going to have a conversation with Josh Lang, pastor at Redeemer Church in Syracuse, George Powers, owner of Powers Accounting, Sean Patney, the owner of Preferred Powers Sports, and then John Wasnicka is uh, John Wasnicka the third, actually, is the president of JPW Structural Contracting. Stick around. Hour number two of the local show starts really soon.